when I was a kid, the Monogram Model Company had a plastic model kit that you could buy that contained every American guided missile. It had the Thor, it had all of these missiles in there, the Nike Hercules, a huge assortment of little plastic model missiles that you could build at home. Well, of course, at my age, building model airplanes was a big deal, so we all had that kit. Now, I'm in a building here at the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station that actually has all the real missiles. This is like that model kit, only for real, and it's absolutely incredible. I want to show you a couple of these. Now, first of all, there's a Pershing II missile in the background, but there's this gigantic snark winged long-range missile right here. And then when we go over here, I think one of the biggest missiles in the entire kit was an Atlas missile, an Atlas ICBM was in this model kit. Well, right here, if you can see this thing because it's so big, there's an Atlas. And then I think my favorite missile in that entire model kit was the, uh, the Bomark missile. Do you remember the Bomark, that kind of triple engine uh, winged ballistic missile that also had uh, a ramjet. It had ramjets on the outside and then it had a jet, uh, rocket engine on the inside. There's a Bomark here. This is one of the few on display. So this is just like growing up uh, into the real world of all these missiles coming to life. It's like a some kind of weird Toy Story movie, but for adults. The Polaris A1 submarine launch ballistic missile is right there. Here's the Hound Dog missile and the Quail Decoy. Absolutely incredible. So if you're, uh, if you're about my age and you grew up with that model kit, this entire museum just brings that to life. It's absolutely amazing. I can't believe it. I've never seen all of these um, at all, let alone all in one place. It's incredible.